because you're going to see a question like that <sighs> i'll be asking you find the ph and then tell me if it's acidic or basic or find the puh and tell me if it's acidic or basic All right, questions? <clears throat> questions, please? All right, so guys, uh, those were your questions that you're going to see for uh, your uh, pH calculation part. Uh, then again, I've talked about this, guys, already in the um, in the titration uh, lab that we talked about, lab number 15, so you want to make sure you guys watch that. But that titration is basically part of chapter 9, okay? And let's briefly talk about the process of titration again, just to make sure we understand the concept of titration, okay? Now, guys, if you watch the video, tell me what is the purpose of doing titration? Purpose. To find what? Find? Concentration. Find concentration of the acid, okay? Usually the acid is what is we are interested in. So guys, for titration, how do we set up the experiment for titration, guys? What are the things we need? We need, what do we call that, guys? Where you put the base on the top, what is that thing called? Start with the B. Um. What is that? Tube like thing called, okay? Oh, the burette? Burette, yes. So you use a burette, and on that burette, um, so under that burette, so you got, first of all, you got the opening for the burette. This is where you have the control on the burette. And the bottom, you have a conical flask. And inside the conical flask, guys, in the burette, what do you add? And in the flask, what do you add? I have two options. The water. So I have two options, guys. HCl oh. and NaOH. These are two options. First of all, tell me NaOH plus HCl. This is what kind of reaction? Water. This is there's no. no it will make water. Yes, you're acid right. Base. This is acid base. This is acid. This is base. When you combine them, you make water. And what else? Um. Uh, uh, what is it? The hydronium. So you took the H and OH that made water H2O. What H else? H3O? No, 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 no. Guys, okay, so you're not looking at the reaction. Yes, it makes what? Na? Cl. Na Cl. Yeah. C. H <laughs> took the OH. My bad. You made water, right? And then yes. Na took the Cl, so you made NaCl. So acid base reaction, remember, makes water and salt? Mm -hmm. we're, yes, you were making H3O plus, but that was the acid and water reaction, right? No. Okay. So now, guys, we got the HCl. So, so we're going to put the acid here, and we're going to put the NaOH here. Now, for NaOH, guys, the idea is that for this guy, we know the molarity. So the molarity is known. Let's say it's a one molar solution, just to keep it simple. And guys, the molarity for acid is unknown, question mark. We don't know. That's the purpose of titration. Find the concentration of the acid. You see, for acid, we don't know the concentration. You guys understand the experiment, guys? Yes. Okay. Now, the volume for this is known. Let's say you were using 10 ml because you are the one who poured it into the beaker, right? So you know how much you poured. So you let's say you used a graduated cylinder or you used a pipette to pour 10 ml. So you know the volume. And the volume for this case, the sodium hydroxide, the one that you're pouring in here and you're pouring into this flask down here, you will be adding it here, and when the number of HCl molecules is equal to the number of NaOH molecules, that's when you're going to stop the experiment. So you will know that how much volume of NaOH did you actually consume. Does that make part make sense, guys? I'll say it again, okay? Yeah. I'll say it again. So you have the sodium hydroxide sitting here, and you have HCl sitting here. You want to combine these two. You keep adding, you keep adding sodium hydroxide from the burette into the acid in the flask, you keep adding it to the point when the pH becomes seven. And when does the pH become seven? When you add equal amounts of HCl and NaOH. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Okay, so when you put equal amounts of acid and base, that's when your pH is seven. So you're gonna keep adding base into the solution to the point when solution becomes seven pH. 
Now, guys, how do you tell solution has turned pH if you do not have a pH meter? So pH meter is like a thermometer. It can tell you what is the pH, but you don't have that. What do we have in the lab this time? We have, what do we add into HCL? That thing is called what? The red cabbage something. You add the red cabbage pH indicator. So there are different kinds of pH indicator. Uh, I'm just saying you're using a general pH indicator. The one we're using in the lab is called red cabbage pH indicator, or a very common one is called phenol saline pH indicator that you can actually see written in your lab manual, but we actually don't use it because it's difficult to uh, take care of the phenol saline waste versus the red cabbage pH indicator waste because red cabbage pH indicator, you can just put it into the sink. It's just red cabbage whereas the other one is actually chemical that you have to take care of. So uh, you use some kind of pH indicator and it's going to give you some kind of color that will tell you that, okay, this is pH seven, stop adding sodium hydroxide. Does that make sense, Katie? Yeah. Can you guys summarize for me. What is, why do we do titration? To find the concentration of an acid. To find the concentration of this guy, the acid. The molarity is unknown, we don't know. If I'm gonna dip my hand, is this thing gonna hurt me or not hurt me? You don't know the concentration, okay? So you wanna find the concentration. For NaOH, do we know the concentration? Yeah. Yes, we know it's one molar because we made it. So we know that it's one molar. So if you were doing this in the lab, you will be told on the bottle, it will say some molarity, okay? So when you're gonna watch the video for the lab, you guys will see what molarity it is. So you're putting that into the burette and then you're dripping it into the uh, uh, HCl, guys. Till what point do you keep adding sodium hydroxide? Uh, I, just for fun, guys, what is this, guys? Is this acid or base? Base. This is base. I guess you're literally dropping the base, so drop the base, okay? <laughs> so, uh, so you're adding, adding uh, base sodium hydroxide into the uh, HCl solution, guys, and till what point do you keep adding base? So it's at neutral, pH 7. So you get the pH 7. And how do you know it's pH 7 is? Because of the? Indicator. The indicator that you're adding, okay? So guys, let's say you used 30 ml of this guy. So I'm just saying that you used 30 ml of this guy. So now guys, my question is, based on the information that you see here, can you tell me what is the answer for this molarity gonna be? Because Think of an equation that we learned, which has these four things and one is missing so that we can find the answer. M1, V2. M1, V1. M2, V2. M2, V2. So guys, we're gonna modify this equation, okay? Because in this particular example, this equation will work. But in questions where this is not HCl, but it's H2SO4 or H3PO4, this equation is not gonna work. Tell me why, guys. What is different there? Um, Tell me what's different. Why did I pick H2SO4 and H3PO4 and not HBr as my example, when I said this equation is not gonna work? Um, Think, guys. Is it because it's an acid base? These are acid base. And instead of HCl, if I use H2SO4, then this M1, V1, M2, V2 thing will not work. I'll have to modify this a little bit. What is different between these two guys? Both are acid, I know that. But what's the difference, the other difference that uh, you know? Diprotic? Di yes, yes, yes. Diprotic, yes. Yeah. This is monoprotic, this is diprotic. So this has one H, this has two H. Guys, the ratio for HCl and NaOH to combine is one is to one. But for these two to combine, H2SO4 and NaOH, is it one is to one, guys? No, it's two. It's one is to two. One H2SO4 needs two NaOH, so that changes. So in, we modify this equation to N1V1, N2V2, and N stands for normality. Not molarity, but normality. And guys, this is very simple, okay? Normality is whatever the molarity is, times if the, how many protons you got, number of protons. So guys, HCl molarity, so normality for HCl will be equal to the molarity of HCl times, how many protons does it have, guys? How many protons does HCl have? One. One. So the normality of HCl is actually equal to the molarity of HCl. 
Do you guys get the point? Yeah. Now the normality for H2SO4 will be equal to the molarity of H2SO4 times what number? How many protons does H2SO4 have? Two. two. So it will be 2m. So normality, so n for H2SO4 will be two times the molarity of H2SO4. So you have to keep that in mind whenever you use the equation, this equation for titration question. Does that, does that make sense, guys? So now what you have to do, guys, is simply plug in the numbers here and tell me what answer do you think we got. So what are we looking for? So let's say this is M1, this is V1, this is M2, this is V2. And guys, remember for HCl, your normality and molarity is the same. So here it doesn't matter. Here you just tell me you can have used any of the equation, the first one or the second one, it's not gonna matter. So let's use the second one just so that we, are, uh, we understand this equation, guys. So uh, do we know the normality of HCl or the molarity of HCl? Or are we finding that? Is are you understanding this or no? Let me use just that M1, V1, M2 equation and ask you if you can find the answer. Okay, just plug in the numbers for that. First of all, uh, isolate the equation. So isolate is, what are we isolating in this question? Can you tell me? Uh, M1. M1. So M1 equals what? M1 equals? M2, V2 over V1. V1, yes. Now, guys, what is M2 value? 1.0. 1.0. One, what is V2 value? 30 ml. 30 ml. What is V1 value? 10, 10 ml. 10 ml. What is the answer, guys? 3 ml. 3 ml. Not ml. ml got canceled. 3 m. So our mobility for HCl is 3 m. So you guys, you see how you can simply do this experiment of titration? For this HCl, you didn't knew the concentration, but now you know the concentration. After adding the known amount of base, you now know the molarity of HCl. So the molarity for HCl is 3 molar. So now you know the concentration.